securing B. Hey guys, what's up? I just got back from the dentist and they have like removed a huge thing of plaque from my teeth and now there's a gap and I never knew I had a gap between my teeth but it's like a, a very, very, very small, you guys can't even notice it, gap and it feels really good when I put my tongue like between the gap and it kind of like sticks out but I don't know, this is really weird and I don't know why I'm telling you this but I just thought I'd start off the video that way because it's really weird and my teeth are so clean so... I am excited. <laughs> but anyways, today I'm bringing you a gold chainsaw chem strike, and I go 58 to 4 overall. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to show the rest of the gameplay after I get the chem. It depends how long I make this commentary. But I hope you enjoyed the starting clip. It's gonna be in my upcoming montage, which will be, I don't know, in a few weeks. Now I know the video is titled Best Class Setup, and the setup I'm using may not actually be the best. Everyone has different opinions, and there's always alternatives to attachments and perks. And I always change up my classes no matter what gun I'm using. And today we're going to talk about the Chainsaw LMG. And I wanted to just give you guys some tips about the gun and how to make good classes for it. Because the Chainsaw is a really cool and fun gun. So first the Chainsaw is a hip fire only weapon. It has really good hip fire accuracy. It's got the fastest fire rate out of all the LMGs. And there aren't any iron sights for it. It's just like the Death Machine from Black Ops 2 where you can aim. But it just gives a little more accurate hip fire. And the class setup I'm using here is the gold chainsaw with silencer and rapid fire. Perks are marathon, stalker, scavenger, focus, and hardline. And I'm using specialist so I can earn ready up, sleight of hand, and quick draw. And then the bonus I get is lightweight, blind eye, dead silence, and amplify. Personally, I like to aim with a chainsaw for improved accuracy. I was actually testing this setup out with stalker and no quick draw until I earned it from specialist instead of the other way around. And Stalker with the chainsaw just seems better than it is with other guns. It's just fun to use and from the start, in my opinion, helps just as much as quick draw would. Focus helps with flinch. Marathon helps you get around easier since you move slower with an LMG. Hardline makes getting the perks and specialist bonus easier as well as getting chems easier. And I don't really use scavenger, but now that I've been going for gold gun chem strikes, I always use it so I can keep using my gold gun and not have to pick up someone else's gun. And before this, I'd never use scavenger except on chainsaw classes because I'd always use rapid fire and just ran out of ammo on long streaks. And if you're going to use this gun, you kind of need scavenger. Also, you definitely want ready up. And sometimes with specialists, I want to earn it as the first perk. The next perk you earn is really important though. Slide of hand, you need it on the chainsaw. It has an extremely slow reload and I'm using rapid fire so I go through bullets faster. You won't need to reload after the first kill. Well, hopefully you don't just spray the entire clip to get one person. But generally, it's four kills until sleight of hand works with the chainsaw. Then I earn quick draw for faster aiming. Of course, you can always switch and choose to start with quick draw and earn stalker. The bonus I get is lightweight for faster movement because, again, you move really slow with the chainsaw. Dead silence and amplify because I like being silent and hearing the enemies easier. And it definitely helps with getting chems. I get blind eye as my last perk because it's not worth losing your chem strike to a sentry, trinity rocket, or chopper that the enemy gets from a field order care package or even if it's just one streak that they might get. And you'll notice I'm not using steady aim at all, I actually forgot about steady aim. Steady aim does help with making the chainsaw's accuracy better, but you don't really need it. You should definitely try it out and if you prefer it with steady aim, swap out marathon, lightweight, blind eye, dead silence, or amplify for it. And you can see in this game, I didn't need steady aim. Now, as for attachments, I'm using the silencer with rapid fire. Rapid fire makes you draw people even faster, but the downsides are you can't use extended mags, and if you run out of ammo faster, you need to reload. And I prefer rapid fire over extended mags with the chainsaw. You should be using sleight of hand regardless, so reloading is fine. Just don't waste an entire clip on one person. Now, the other attachment choice you should make is whether you should silence the chainsaw or use muzzle brake for more range. Or you could use nade launcher for trolling, I don't know. <laughs> but if you're going for chems or high streaks, I would definitely recommend silencer. Especially if you play like me, you get close to the enemy spawns, you don't want the entire enemy team knowing where you are and them all rushing at you. And it's better not to appear on the radar. And the range on the chainsaw is still a beast anyway. And of course there are people that don't like to use specialists. For perks, I'd recommend something like Sleight of Hand, Scavenger, Ready Up, Marathon, Quick Draw, and maybe a pistol. Or you could not use Quick Draw on a pistol, and you can use Steady Aim and Focus, Hardline, or Lightweight. It's really up to you. So anyways, that's all for today. I hope this video helped and gave you ideas on what a good chainsaw class setup looks like. Now, 
Go own people on Ghost. <laughs> now don't forget to comment below and tell me what other Ghost videos you guys want to see me make. So that's all for today. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.